it in your environment that is sharing the place of God in that kingdom. Because your body, your environment is a kingdom. But any government that is sharing the identity of God over your kingdom, I decree, let their throne be demolished in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people will be saying there's a lifting. And other people will be saying there's a casting down. You see, mm. if you allow enemy to dominate your environment, then among men you are most miserable. But mm -hmm. if you can arise and say, I am the priest in this home, then you can fight the territorial, of, uh, the territorial integrity of your home like Daniel. Therefore, today, mm. let every mm. priest in your family, let every priest that is to dominate the altar, I decree, let them arise in the name of Jesus. They are called sleeping priests. He said, awake every sleeping soldier. The time is now. Away from the, that's why the Bible says, arise thou that sleepest. Awake from the dead. So how come people sleeping? How come Bible qualify them as people that are dead? You know? When you are sleeping and enemy is dominating your environment, I'm not talking about physical mm. sleep or no, you want you sleep or the one you lay on your bed. I'm talking about your spiritual sleep, your spiritual slumberness. Oh my god. Every soldier here that is sleeping, every soldier here that has gone deep asleep, I decree and declare, Amen. awake thou that sleepest. <laughs> Arise Amen. from thy dead. Awake Amen. every sleeping soldier Amen. tonight. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Bobo Oroti O Tony Lia Yay. Not as if we don't have anything at all. She won't go for ton on it. Bobo Oroti O To Lati and Lo Afi Kufuny. Ni oru go yes. He said, and the spirit entered into me when they spake unto me. The spirit entered. How did he enter? He said, when they spake unto me, just by talking alone, the gate of your body opened up and a demonic spirit entered and, 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 a, and a good spirit entered. You see, let me tell you, things enter into people's body as we are talking. As I'm talking to you now, because I am talking from the dimension of the Holy Ghost, it is the Holy Ghost that is entering into you. And that's why when it enters, when it enters, you do not know, then you begin to speak in tongue. And that is a sign that something has entered into you. Amen. So, so the Lord told me now that they can speak cancer into people's life. Okay. The Lord told me that because there is a gate, if you allow it to open, now they can speak. They can speak poverty into people's life. Uh -uh. They can they can speak it into your life, and that is why it's very it's very you you have to be very careful those that speak into your life. Mm. Uh, yeah. Because this yeah. thing that we are saying, Bible said that they are spirit and they are life. You don't you don't know when it becomes a seed, and immediately you allow a seed to be planted in your land of destiny. Very soon they will start watering it with fear, mm -hmm. and when they water the seed with fear, I tell you there is no amount of deliverance you have done if you don't go and do deliverance of the mind then you cannot amount to anything oh people are not here tonight people are not here tonight i i decree and declare who is it that have opened up the gate of your border what kind of seed has entered into you unknowingly to you you see why do you think your hand is shaking when you want to write a note you don't have you don't have any problem there is no ailment in your body, but there is a seed that has given birth to an information. And that information is now making your hand to shake. So doctors will not diagnose it. And doctors will, what do they call that sickness that makes people's hands to shake? The, and doctors will say, he is suffering from Parkinson. Parkinson. Meanwhile, it is an information that entered and created fear in his body. 
I oh. decree and declare whatever gate of your body is causing ailments in your life, whatever gate of your body has been opened up, an enemy has shown tears in the land of your destiny. Today, I uproot every of those seeds in the name of Jesus. For Adam, the gate was lifted when he ate the unforbidden food. For Job, the gate was lifted when information came and they went to report him to God. Ah, you are not getting it. You are not getting it. Lakaras Koros Apalarodos Etaradada Larote Katara. For you, the gate was lifted up when they spoke into your life, and fear will enter. Therefore, every gate of your body that has opened up for, for evil to penetrate. Today, I flush out the evil and close the gate for evil news. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, I don't like the amen here tonight. The energy is dry. I said, I don't like the amen here tonight. The energy is dry. Iro iburuku to fa oshi lati e ni lo atileku ara yi iro iburuku o kan yin lara mo ni oruko Jesus